The question is, how do we take a picture of, for example, Igor here, and make him into a twitchy mode, or even uh, use it for other purposes, but we only want to see Igor the duck. We don't want to see the paper background. We want the background to be transparent. So how do we do that? So first, a step for twitchy modes is to make it square. We're using Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 online version now. So we want to make it square. So we click the cropping tool here on the left. We see up here, it's set to one to one square. And I want to do is make it so that we just get the tippy top of his the right left side there. And we get the other part of his nose there. And then we come down here. Because with twitch emotes, they're really, really small. So the Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and go to image. Crop. The next thing you want to do, or maybe even do before that step, is right click on this and select a duplicate layer. And when we background copy is fine, click OK. And then we can uh, hide the original and just look at the background layer. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and select the pen tool and hold. You come over here, click pen tool. You saw it was highlighted there. We click here. See it's got highlighted there with that square. Okay, so that's the pen tool. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to start from where his butt is touching the edge here. And we're just going to make points like this. We're going to follow the contour of his body all around his body. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. You don't have to be real detailed because these images are going to be very small anyway. But I'll see you on the other side of his butt. All right, we made it to the other side of his butt here and we want to connect these together. It makes a complete outline. And next we're going to go down here to the lower right side and click on Add Layer Mask. And then click it again. And you can see now that this has turned that into a transparent background. So we want to save this as a PNG. So we'll come up to File, Save As, PNG. I'm going to keep this as Igor full size because we have to reduce his size for Twitch emotes. Save. Anything else. Alright, so he saved it that size. If you're not using it for Twitch, you now have a a, a transparent background of whatever object it is that you traced around. Okay, for Twitch emotes, there are three sizes you need. 112 by 112, 56 by 56, and 28 by 28. What I simply do is go up to image size and change this to 112. by 112, click OK, and I go into File, Save As, change from Photoshop to PNG, size we will do Igor 112 by 112, and that also makes it easier when you're searching your directories for your files if you have a complex directory structure, you can just search on 112 and save okay and then we do the same thing we just go image image size change this from 112 to 56 click okay file save as png 56 by 56 save okay image image size 28 okay file 
state as J, uh, PNG. Okay. Okay. There you have it. You've got your transparent backgrounds for Igor or some other object that you've chose to draw around. I just did a control Z, a command Z, or you could do a control Z to get us right back where we started from with a full size JPEG. That's just one way of backing out of things, just so you know. If you haven't already seen it, we also did a how to make a transparent background on a image that has a clear white background and a graphical foreground and you want to separate the two. Make sure you see that one as well. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, folks. Thanks.